All right, guys, I'm back with another review, and as always, if you find this review helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This is the True Brand Triple Buffet Crock-Pot. So this is basically three Crock-Pots in one. So quick backstory, my mother-in-law's Crock-Pot broke, and we had a Crock-Pot, and so me and my wife, being the uh, generous people we are, gave my mother-in-law our old Crock-Pot because that was something she was used to. Used to the size of like four or five quarts, so it was big enough what she wanted to do with it. And then later on, we're over at Sam's Club, and we see this triple buffet crock pot thing set up for a grand total of 30 bucks. And we're sitting there going, well, the one we bought that was just one crock pot, that was $30. And so we were like, let's try this thing out. It matched our appliances. We got stainless steel. They have it in a couple of colors, like red. I think there's like a teal option. But it's true brand, T-R-U. It was 30 bucks out the door. It ha it's got some cool little features that, because the crock pot we had was a little old, that it just didn't have. So these are kind of updated. Uh, it has uh, really, what I really like about it, honestly, it's the dumbest thing in the world. We think that everyone would, every crock pot company would already made it by now. Little slots for the spoons, so you can put a spoon in there and keep the lid shut. And I was just in there going, oh man, this is amazing. I was geeking out over like a little divot that's inside of each one of these bowls that you can probably see from the video right now. But uh, yeah, that was me being a nerd the whole time about this dumb little divot that to me was like, this is so ingenious, but really it's should have been there for a hundred years, but it hasn't been. It comes with three spoons, comes with three prongs you set in the back that are actually the lid holders. So if you go back to the very beginning of the video, you see an image of the box that shows the lids being held up. Those are the little metal rods holding up the actual lids to each one. And they're set, and it's kind of nice where you can set them up, and rather than the liquid dripping onto any part of the crock pot, it'll drip back into the crock pot. So if you were to set it up properly, where you just kind of lift up and hang it on the uh, little prongs, the liquid will drip into it. And that's that little divot that actually holds the uh, super fun, awesome spoons that you can now put inside the crock pot, have the lid on, and not lose all the heat, which is kind of awesome. All right, we're going to speed this up just a little bit, uh, get the plastic off, get the little stickers off. That's the stainless steel. You can see my dirty kitchen. You can see my uh, terrible taste in colored t-shirts, drab purple, all that fun stuff. There's the wire. It's uh, not a terribly long power cord, so if you're looking to do this like a buffet, like at a, at like a luncheon, you're going to need an extension cord. So that's probably one big flaw to it. It has this little, I want to say maybe three foot power cord. So if you're trying to set something up like someone setting like a buffet on some like potluck tables, you know, those white fold up tables and everybody setting things up, you might need an extension cord to make that happen depending on where the table is because you're talking about only about three feet. So this is thing perfect for my kitchen because we have outlets close enough, but otherwise you might be kind of out of luck. All the various lids, everything else are going to run through real fast here. And uh, everything came real nice, came ready to go. Uh, when you're first cook, another weird little flaw, and I'm sure every crock pot goes through this, I think when we first bought ours, other one 10 years ago, good God. It, uh, it kind of smells like burning plastic for a while just because of the material that's, that's in there, all the coating, all the cleaning stuff. Uh, always, obviously, make sure you wash these things out first. Each each uh, crock actually has its own little independent burner so it's not like if you if you just want to run one you're only running at one third the power if you want to run on three you're running at full power and you have the hot uh low and warm settings for all of them so you have a lot of versatility uh you're about to see in just a few seconds these my ratty hair awesome looks good get that stupid sticker off of there and i was really happy no residue so happy with that uh, me being ocd but yeah if you're like i First time we cooked it, we cooked uh, some chicken, we cooked a, a black bean dip, and we cooked some baked beans out of a can. And each one required a slightly different temperature and cook time, and you could adjust accordingly without really having any negative impact to it. And here's me tr fiddling with the lid there. And that's how it works, guys. It drips right in so you don't make a mess. It's a very clean operation, although I do have a big splotch of sauce right on top of the black lid there. But other than that, it was a great product. So I'm really happy with the purchase. I mean, for 30 bucks, you get three crock pots at one. Each one's two and a half quarts. So you're talking about a smaller size, but for our kitchen and my family's life, we're talking about essentially just having the just right amount of food. And so often I'll want to cook with the crock pot and I go, well, I got to make sure it's something I can throw everything in there. It's got to be the potatoes, onions, chicken, everything that I throw there all at once. Otherwise you can't make it. And then you got to commit to making a lot of food. This way you can make some food without making a ton and not feeling like you got a ton of leftovers that you may or may not eat. So overall, uh, I'm really happy with this purchase. And I'm glad we got it. I'm kind of glad we gave away our old crock pot to our mother-in-law. So awesome. Thank you all for watching.